All information about the disease refer to the website 247naturalhealthtricks.com. Things to know about kidney stones. When treating any disease you need to know the root cause of the disease. Find out things to know about kidney stones below. Kidney stones, renal lithiasis, nephrolithiasis, are hard deposits made of minerals and salts, form inside your kidneys. The disease is caused by many causes and can be seen in the urinary tract from the kidneys to the ureters and in the bladder. Often, stones form when the urine becomes concentrated, allowing minerals to crystallize and stick together. Kidney stones rarely cause permanent damage if treated by a health care professional. Kidney stones vary in size and shape. They may be as small as a grain of sand or as large as a pea. Rarely, some kidney stones are as big as golf balls. Moreover, nephrolithiasis may be smooth or jagged and are usually yellow or brown. A small kidney stone may pass through your urinary tract on its own, causing little or no pain. A larger kidney stone may get stuck along the way. A kidney stone that gets stuck can block your flow of urine, causing severe pain or bleeding. If you have symptoms of nephrolithiasis, including severe pain or bleeding, seek care right away. A doctor, such as a urologist, can treat any pain and prevent further problems, such as a urinary tract infection UTI. The scientific name for a kidney stone is renal calculus or nephrolith. You may hear health care professionals. Call this condition nephrolithiasis, urolithiasis, or urinary stones. Type of kidney stones. Patients or family members must know or understand carefully to safely remove kidney stones, avoid relapses, infections and risks. Types of kidney stones include Calcium stones Calcium stones, including calcium oxalate stones and calcium phosphate stones, are the most common types of kidney stones. Most kidney stones are calcium stones, usually in the form of calcium oxalate. Oxalate is a naturally occurring substance found in food and is also made daily by your liver. Some fruits and vegetables, as well as nuts and chocolate, have high oxalate content. However, calcium from food does not increase your chance of having calcium oxalate stones. Normally, extra calcium that isn't used by your bones and muscles will go to your kidneys and is flushed out with urine. When this doesn't happen, the calcium stays in the kidneys and joins with other waste products to form a kidney stone. Dietary factors, high doses of vitamin D, intestinal bypass surgery and several metabolic disorders can increase the concentration of calcium or oxalate in urine. Calcium stones may also occur in the form of calcium phosphate. This type of stone is more common in metabolic conditions, such as renal tubular acidosis. It may also be associated with certain migraine headaches or with taking certain seizure medications, such as topiramate topamax. Uric acid stones. A uric acid stone can form when your urine contains too much acid. Uric acid stones can form in people who do not drink enough fluids or lose too much fluid. Certain genetic factors may also increase the risk of uric acid stones. People who eat a high-protein diet and suffer from gout include, eat lots of fish, shellfish and meat. In particular, organ meat can increase uric acid in urine. Struvite stones. Struvite stones may form after you have a urinary tract infections, UTI. These stones can grow quickly and become quite large, sometimes with few symptoms or little warning. Cysteine stones. Cysteine stones result from a disorder called cystinuria that is passed down through families. These stones form in people with a hereditary disorder. Causes the kidneys to excrete too much of certain amino acids cystinuria. Cystinuria causes the amino acid cysteine to leak through your kidneys and into the urine. How to dissolve and pass your kidney stones pain-free in less than 24 hours from right now, using a safe, natural, home remedy. Naturally removes stones easily without medication, without surgery. Link in the description. How common are kidney stones? About 11% of men and 6% of women have nephrolithiasis at least once during their lifetime. Subjects at risk of kidney stones. Men are more likely to develop kidney stones than women. Family or personal history. If someone in your family has kidney stones, you are also likely to have stones. 
You are also more likely to develop nephrolithiasis again if you had them once. And you are also at risk of another disease. Dehydration. Not drinking enough water each day can increase your risk of nephrolithiasis. In particular, people who live in warm climates. And those who sweat a lot may be at higher risk than others. Certain diets. For example, eating a diet that's high in protein, sodium, salt, and sugar may increase your risk of some types of kidney stones. Too much salt in your diet increases the amount of calcium your kidneys must filter and significantly increases your risk of nephrolithiasis. Obese. High body mass index BMI, large waist size and weight gain increase the risk of nephrolithiasis. Digestive diseases and surgery. That is, gastric bypass surgery, inflammatory bowel disease or chronic diarrhea can cause changes in the digestive process, affect your absorption of calcium and water. As a result, increases the level of substances that form stones in your urine. Other medical conditions. A blockage of the urinary tract. Cystic kidney diseases, which are disorders that cause fluid-filled sacs to form on the kidneys. Cystinuria. Gout, a disorder that causes painful swelling of the joints. Hypercalcuria, a condition in families where urine contains unusually large amounts of calcium. This is the most common condition in people who form calcium stones. Hyperoxaluria, a condition in which urine contains unusually large amounts of oxalate. Renal tubular acidosis, a disease that occurs when the kidneys fail to remove acids into the urine, which causes a person's blood to remain too acidic. Hyperparathyroidism, a condition in which the parathyroid glands release too much parathyroid hormone, causing extra calcium in the blood. Hyperuricaceria, a disorder in which too much uric acid is in the urine. People who take certain medicines. You are more likely to develop kidney stones if you are taking one or more of the following medicines over a long period of time. That is, diuretics, calcium-based antacids, indinavir, topiramate. Above are the things to know about kidney stones, help you better understand the risk of kidney stones. If you have nephrolithiasis, discover how to eliminate them in just 24 hours without pain, safely and naturally. Link in the description. Complications of kidney stones. Complications of kidney stones are rare. If kidney stones are not treated, they can cause hematuria or blood in the urine. Severe pain. Urinary tract infections, UTI, including kidney infections. Loss of kidney function. Get rid of kidney stones safely, naturally and effectively. Link in the description. Thank for watching. Good health.